Hey guys, my name is Matthew. Uh, I'm part of a, a taco club here, and I'm doing an interview with Critical, Critical Gaming Channel here right now. Uh, I come to a taco club here at the school. Uh, for, I came here for a couple years ago. It's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. The people here are very amazing. We do little projects on the side too, and uh, depending on how far we get, it actually does turn out pretty cool. We got a couple of creative people here with uh, multiple talents, whether drawing, writing, or anything of the such. My name is Oscar Tavio. And what I like about Otaku is the animation and how the anime is drawn and also how anything that comes to me. What I like about Otaku is that it inspired me into animation and also inspired me about other languages. I, for example, I started watching Korean TV shows which is basically my favorite now. I also started listening to K-pop music. Any kind, you'll be fine unless it's good and guessing. Um, my name is Yelita, and um, let's see. Oh. Well, Yelita, yeah, that's my full name. But like, when I joined the Taco Club, um, uh, they like calling me dra by Dragonite because um, my dad got me into Pokemon and like on um, Dragon Ball Z on my dad's side, and then on my mom's side, she got me into Sailor Moon and some other ones. Which was actually pretty cool, and the reason I joined Otaku Club is like where you could like um, watch different anime and like discuss about it. And like right now we were watching like Dragon Ball Z Super, and I I, I watched that with my dad. So like I don't want to get ahead of everybody, so I tried to watch the ones before. And let's see. well, they like, sometimes they do some projects, and like I want to get involved. And like sometimes I'll say that if we raise enough funding, the fundraisers like they'll be able to go like to Anime Central or Midwest, which I've been to. I've been to a lot of them, which is pretty cool. All right, my name is Lilo, and I am a member of the Otaku Club. What I like about the Otaku Club is that it's always lively. People you know will not know, but you know have the same interests as you, and it's cool. Yeah. Hi, my name is Brandon Williams and I love Otaku. The reason why I love Otaku is because that, that because we all do the arts and stuff. And also we talk about animation. Like anything that none of us had never seen about, but ultimately we want to watch it. Basically from Otaku is that, that we learn something about uh, life, art, and about friendship. So from Otaku, anything can be impossible, but all of a sudden we make it possible. So I like this club a lot because um, we all get like we all know each other, and even you know, it's a lot of fun. I mean, we I just I go for for the art, and then it's also kind of fun because we get to watch anime, and talk about anime, mm -hmm. and it's kind of it's fun to be here. Welcome to the Taco Club. Oh, that's kind of a tricky one. I think it was uh, two of my friends, uh, Alexis and Brandon. Because uh, if, if it wasn't really for them, I don't think I really have, would have been coming here. And, you know, uh, yeah, that's, ba that's basically the only thing is that, you know, I decided to come to see how it was, you know. I'm guessing, like, my sister, like, since during freshman year, I saw, um, like, people, like, right oh here in God. this room. Like watching yeah, like animation, and then like during my second year, um, my s well actually my first year, my sister like told me if I wanted to go inside, like maybe some other time, and so the next year I started joining because it actually looked interesting, and so last year since like I started. Actually, been watching anime. I started also reading books because my sister inspired me since during <laughs> eighth grade or freshman year. In here. Oh, well, Otaku. I like watching different animes, but I never had suggestions from anybody else except for like what my dad, what my dad and my uncles watch. Mm -hmm. So I was figuring like I could watch different ones and like, uh, like show them to my parents. So like, hey, look, this is what I've been over there. Like, we do some projects too. So it's. It's fun, it's fun to share my kind of interest with my family.
What brought me into the taco club was I want to be around people I believe have the same interests as me and possibly make, you know, new friends. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Well, what brought me from Otaku is that I heard about it and also, well, uh, I saw it, but I didn't want it to be in it. Okay. So, well, it basically it's like it's something that is not that you wanted to go, but you refuse to go. Like you have second thoughts about going. Yeah, but it's like once you keep on going, it's like pushing you in and say pushing you out. Okay. Um, I learned about it when they had like a, a fair downstairs at the cone, and I was like interested in it because I thought it was like um, about like drawing anime, but then I was like, but then I heard of it, thought it was, and then I heard of it that it was like a program that teaches you about anime, and, like teaches you art, so I was kind of interested so I applied. Right. Kind of happened a couple of years ago with the tra well when I was younger I met with the traditional anime you know Pokemon Dragon Ball Z mm -hmm. a few rare ones in the mix too like Helsing Ultimate when I was little Elf and Lie and uh, Spider Riders mm -hmm. now it's time to listen a little bit over once first but I stopped for a, a long while until I came back to it sophomore year and I actually do still consider myself that year a weeaboo but I don't care <laughs> I, at that point I don't care. I was like, I, I'm, I'm back into it, I love it, and, it's, and I don't regret it. I'm um, guessing um, Deto and my sister. My sister basically hurt because um, of the book that she gave me, and then I started getting inspired by more, and so I asked her to go to the library to get me some more books. And so I started reading Tokyo so Gold, I started reading Vampire Night, and now, and basically Skippy and some other good anime books. I was introduced to anime at a very young age. My dad's the one that showed me Dragon Ball Z, so we watched that. And then um, on my mom's side, uh, she showed me Sailor Moon, so we watched like Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon R, Sailor Moon S, and the brand new one that's right now, Sailor Moon Crystal. So I I actually told her the new update about it, and we t I, I I watched it ahead of her. I'm on season three, and she's like. Season one, same here. I was introduced by anime, I guess probably before I even knew what anime was, but mostly when what I believed to be anime was in fifth grade when a friend of mine introduced me to read a book. I thought it was a comic, but then I realized it was manga. And then, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what it is now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, anime or manga? Yes. Alright, so my favorite anime and manga that is my all-time favorite right now is Akuma Got Kill. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, like when I first watched it, I just fell in love with it. But it was like another favorite series I could compete against it is uh, Spice of Wolf because that was one of the other animes and manga series that my brother got me back, that, that my brother showed me to get back into anime and such. Which do you prefer from Roar? Anime or manga? I don't know, sure. Depending on how the river flows. All right. Anime or manga? Think I don't know, but um, the one I keep watching it's it's between Fruits Basket that one Ooh, okay. that one actually got really good and Inuyasha. Okay. <laughs> place to place. Place to place. Oh, uh, Achi Kochi. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> well, I just remember like watching the first episode of Duck Parade, like here, so and then yeah, just there's yeah. I mean, the one that did the art design for Helsing. Uh, I don't know why he is. He is really my favorite. I don't know why. It's just his art style is what I really do like. Hmm. Is there a different one or the same one if it, in the case of an anime? No, I wouldn't say so, really. Alright. That would be my most preferred one because that's the one that I grew up with saying, that's amazing. Okay. That's cool. 
I would say black butler. Okay. Okay. Or like chibi, chibi version looking characters. But yeah. Okay. Jojo Bizarre Adventure. Okay, so uh, I forgot his name. <laughs> yeah, so I hit him and him. And uh, I have, if I'm correct, I have like a couple comic books, but they're probably like superheroes and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, there was this other comic book from like a long time ago, at the age of 10, I believe, the book selling thing. Other than I have like one comic book that was called Amulet. Amulet? Yeah. I've heard of that book actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. A couple, actually. <laughs> Can you name some? Uh, the Anime Man, Lost Paws, and Misty Connexia. Okay. These are the common ones which I do follow, and they are they are funny beyond belief. Half the times they're stupid, stupidity <laughs> with their visual novels. All right. <laughs> Shout Shout out to Lost Paws if he watches this. Please know that I love your videos. I hope I can see you at the convention soon. <laughs> On the Super Season 2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. They did Yeah, they're getting the Season 2. And that's the only, that's the one I'm waiting for. The reason is, is because, I don't know why, it made me laugh so much, like, at the beginning of the, of the initial series. It's like me and um, Meadow Nose with um, Showman Sample. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was, it was funny, and I enjoyed it. And I'm willing to watch it again from the beginning. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm still looking to see if there's a third season in Tokyo Ghoul and also um, Vampire Night, I'm starting to figure out there's a third season for that. I'm waiting for that and I'm also waiting on some new episodes on Dragon Ball Super. Yes, but I'm not sure if it'll come out next year. I'm going, I'm very looking forward to You're Nice season two. Okay. And, oh, uh, Book of the Atlantic, uh, Black Butler. Mm -hmm. Okay. The movie. And let's see. Oh, Tokyo Ghoul. Okay. Is coming out. I want to watch it. Mm -hmm. And I haven't watched the first season. <laughs> unfortunately. And yeah. What would it be? Uh, like specifically a genre? Like do you want me to go into detail what, with it? What would it be by genre or what would it be by story? Uh, genre... Ooh, I'm making a lot of... I'm writing a lot that I'm planning to make into an animation. Genre... Well, I'll give a simple one right now. It's like so far I want to make a fan-based animation, anime style of Dark Souls just because... I don't know why. It's like I, I want to show on how it would be if it would seem more with like realistic choreography and such. Okay. Mm -hmm. But like story-wise, any other stories, I will probably use one of my stories, one of my sci-fi or medieval fantasy ones, just because those are the ones I've been working on for the longest. And you guys should know. Yeah. You, and you. <laughs> and hopefully use. Hopefully. <laughs> if anything. That only depends on who watches the channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we good? Well, thank you for your answers. And thank you for having me here. Appreciate it. The genre would be like a... Um I don't know, I, like in my mind, I wanted like a romantic comedy, mm -hmm. which will, it's so funny to me. <laughs> yeah. Like how you see it, like you're like, oh, like at, when it has like a, a moment, you you're all waiting, like it's gonna happen, then it gets sidetracked. <laughs> sidetracked, side side <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think that that would be good. I would say my genre would probably be more of a comedy mix romance and slight action. Ooh. Okay. Alright. It's gonna be comedy. Yeah. Comedy and then you make it deep at times. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Okay. There's two people that. Yeah. It's gonna be like martial, like more fantasy violence. Mm-hmm. 